Well, hello again, this is me, Seth. Um, I'm doing another very great tutorial today. Uh, as promised, uh, on the web and so on. Uh, this is called the Reason Live tutorial. I will talk about how I'm, I am using uh, Reason and Live together. Already did some work here, sorry. I have added uh, to my Reason project here a small uh, 14 2 uh, mixer and the redrum um, and the routing is uh, pretty much uh, standard uh, I can remove them uh, away uh, stereo output from redrum is going up to uh, mixer and mixer output is going up to the interface uh, 1, 2, stereo uh, when we go back to reason we have to make a new um, audio track here and say that this uh, track uh, should uh, take um, audio from Reason and in the lower uh, selector we have to uh, select uh, 1, 2, mix LR uh, for input and when we press play now and here monitor in you can actually hear the beat I made Yeah, very basic. What I am doing now is uh, is rename this track to Reason Return because this track comes from Reason back to live. Uh, so I can uh, have a little overview about <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, this is pretty much it. Um, the benefit of using both both applications together is that I'm that I can. Uh, Add to this audio track a few uh, Ableton devices. Let's say the always funny beat repeat and make some good thing is that I can use audio devices from Live 2 so I can ha make sounds which are not possible with reason how it is built up. Okay, the next really great thing is let's say we add another device, just a small subtractor here and a matrix pattern sequencer. I'm gonna press play now. can hear that big disadvantage here. We have uh, the main audio output from Subtractor which is going up to Mixer where already is a uh, redrum coming in and all of these two devices come back here in live inside this audio track. Uh, this is not good uh, because we maybe let's say I want to um, adjust each of these two devices um, uh, separately. Um, so what should we do now? Uh, we just make up a new audio track. Let's say this is uh, subtract the return. And now I choose here uh, reason again and Subtract is a mono device, so I select just channel 3 here, uh, monitor in, uh, go back to reason, disconnect this device from the mixer, put it in here in the hardware interface into 3 and here. We have here now um, Subtractor's uh, return with, let's say, no, that was bad, <laughs> let's say gate, something like that. short and grain delay and small ping pong always funny so we have two uh, tracks now audio tracks which are coming back from uh, reason uh, now let's take it uh, to the next level because, let's say, I don't want to control a subtractor here from matrix pattern sequencer here, but from live. 
so I make a new track here, call it um, Subtractor Sand, because this one will go to Reason, and I'm putting always uh, sand, the Sand track on the left, the Return track on the right, just uh, uh, to know, to, so that I know what is going on on my uh, session, I choose Subtractor here in the MIDI 2 section. And now, when I'm disconnecting this device, let's say delete, oh, you don't see it, Whoop. delete this device, yes, delete it. I can now uh, add a new clip here, let's say uh, for fourth here. And the big advantage now is that I can use mini effects inside Labelton to control the notes. So yeah, I can uh, make a few adjustments here. Yeah, actually here, this is very very great. Uh, Yeah, very standard pattern, but I hope you get it, uh, the idea behind this. I can now have a big advantage, let's say, I, I really try to, to uh, make a whole new device in its own. So let's say I'd like to combinate a few things here. Let's say, um, oops, uh, the... Uh, device I'm using is the subtractor here. I normally add a line mixer here and I disconnect the audio output from the hardware interface and instead I'm connecting the line mixer here to the hardware interface where now I'm going to attach the um, line mixer here. Let's, so, so you hear? On this output here, you can see 3 is already uh, getting out into the other application, which is live. But now that we have a line mixer here, you see we have a live left and right uh, audio output. We have to change this track to a stereo track. Yeah, and then can you see here? It's stereo again. So um, I'm combinating these two devices here now. Uh, combine. And now let's say I was like, you know, distortion. No, no. Let's make a short uh, chorus here. Uh, Reason already did some work for me. It it has chosen to connect uh, sand and return to uh, the chorus flanger here. I want to have the outputs not uh, to aux return. I want to have these in a separate. Uh, channel inside the line mixer because you know I built this I added this device just to have uh, six channels to play with so yeah. can make fun sounds here and again Everything is now inside this combinator. You know, sometimes um, um, it just starts to get uh, really difficult to say inside live because when I'm going to this uh, section here now, you see uh, the list is getting longer and longer. So I have subtractor one, let's say I have another subtractor just to have another f uh, few LFOs to play with. I have subtractor 2 now and, and so on and so on. Uh, it really starts confusing me. When I'm combinating uh, some devices to one. I'm, I'm renaming all of these to, let's say, we have this is our baseline. So I'm, uh, I'm renaming this one to baseline mixer and this one to baseline flanger. The combinator is. Baseline combinator. Yeah, the baseline itself is the baseline. Yeah, and when I'm going now back to reason, I have all 
of the devices which uh, which belong to one sound here in this list and I can really can say okay this one is baseline ah okay this is the mixer which I added for the baseline and so on it doesn't get in the ways and so on I hope you got some ideas to play with and so on I hope you liked this tutorial uh, please come to my homepage give me some feedback thanks for watching have a nice day see ya